So what we're going to do is while that is, is boiling, I just close the lid. We need to slice some onions. Get the onion all sliced up. You know, after a nice workout session, it's very important, you know, you eat because you burn quite a lot of calories. So you gotta replace those. If you don't replace it, you're actually losing the muscle that you've actually you know been working hard for the past couple of weeks or so so take some time some people like eating straight after training you know i usually just take it some time for my body to actually just relax a little bit before i get my meal in but now like you cannot see but let me tell you guys i'm extremely hungry and when i'm hungry mm, not really in a good mood anyways yeah so that is peel get the onion chopped up I will get one of my bowls. These are pretty nice because um, how I do my paprika is, um, sorry, how I do my broccoli is, I don't really put it in water. Everybody has their own way of boiling their broccoli. I just sort of like, oops. Cut it up in the edges. So eating clean, eating healthy, it's a good lifestyle, I enjoy it. This is always a quick meal, this always takes like 15 minutes, it's ready already. Because when I eat my broccoli, I don't like it super soft, then you miss, you miss the taste. I still like to have the little crunchiness in it, I love broccoli. That's why I put a lot of it. Always nice to have a balanced diet. A, ba a balanced meal is always the best. So, try your best to be able to, to maintain that healthy lifestyle, you know. This does not come easy. All oh, hard work. Perfect. So that is ready to go in the pot. Just check this out and see how far it is. Okay, it's almost there. Usually so I don't really like it to get like super cooked. So what I'll do is, so yeah guys, what I'm going to do is, I place in the broccoli in there, and then I'll close it with the lid, and the steam from the, um, from the sweet potato cooking is obviously gonna steam it, and obviously get it ready. So I'll get the plates. Put the onions at the sides and then from there we're going to slice the mushrooms. It's quite a lot so maybe I'll just make it more bigger chunks than actually cutting it quite small because what happens is as soon as they get into the pot they shrink. I'll do it my easy method. This is always quick. I'm actually me slicing it on the pan. Here yeah, guys, like I said, living a healthy lifestyle is not something easy, especially when you know you're trying to put on size, you want to get muscles, you know, muscles are very difficult to maintain, you know, 
they, uh, they take a lot of your time and for me one thing I'm quite happy about it is um, doing this is quite easy because it's a hobby you know a hobby that I've actually turned it more into you know it's a passion I enjoy doing it especially now that I'm cooking it's a very good time for me because it relaxes me it's like therapy you know cooking for me is therapy I really really enjoy it you know it's not something I have to force myself to do that's why I don't like going out to eat outside because I think you know by me cooking you know it's great I enjoy my own food I'm not the best I'm not an expert in what I cook you know I don't go through every single ingredient and explain you to that but in future video if you guys actually like this I will literally take the time and actually sit down and produce a high quality video which I actually speak about every single ingredients that we're using and stuff like that but for now you know I feel like you know we're just keeping it real you know what I mean like I, I don't really want to put an image about myself me living a life that I don't live you see what I do right now is like I'm living it real you know and I will I want my real audience my real fans to actually you know get to see that and actually embrace it and be like yo this guy is not living more different than I am you know so that is done I'll put that at the side and what we're going to do now is um, we're going to get the chicken so three big slices of chicken breast right there and I always like to wash my chicken before cooking it because you never know what it's been spraying inside to keep it actually longer so I'm gonna wash my chicken perfect so done washing my chicken going to cut it in small slices they're not really small, but just, you know, slice them up a little bit. Because that will go directly in with the, um, with the mushroom, the mushroom, the onions. And then from there, obviously, you don't forget to put in your garlic because garlic adding a little bit of flavor in it like I told you the last time in the previous video garlic is very good for your health you know so try and eat it as much as possible because I do so you notice I don't really put a lot of things in like you know spices and stuff like that but garlic does it does, it gives it a little taste I got this vegetable spice thing that I always use and that's good to as well a little bit of salt and it tastes awesome so all done flip it around so the place downwards will actually get steam to as well the sweet potato is almost ready what I'm going to do is I'm going to Switch it the other side. Okay. We get our pot there and I'm probably just grabbing a spoon right there. Like you guys know, I always use coconut oil to cook whatever that I'm doing. Get some coconut oil in there. What happens is you don't really want to leave it to get to melt too long and um, I'm just going to drop my mushrooms straight away at the same time to get my chicken to in the, in the middle so by the time the mushroom wanna cook, everything is already ready. With the chicken sauce as well. Perfect, it looks like the broccoli is almost ready. I'm just gonna sprinkle some salt in there. Mix it up a little bit.
we're going to do is we're going to get our garlic. Got a nice big one right there. Perfect. My usual normal garlic slicer. Put that in there. Drop it in and you just squeeze it. Wash that out. Awesome. And what I'll do is, like I told you guys, this is all what I use. It's like carrots and everything, it's pretty good and healthy. Sprinkle a little bit in there. It's got a little bit of salt too as well. And stir it up. Okay, we're gonna leave it for a few minutes and check it out later. So yeah guys, as you guys can see, um, everything is ready. I actually just took out the, um, the sweet potato and now uh, I'm going to get some chicken out and then from there we'll get some broccoli out as well. So let's get this all filled up because I'm starving. Time to get some gains. Some of them broccoli in. Now my plate is full. What I'll do is I just grab another bowl. My broccoli. Quite steamy. Voila. Yeah guys, so that's the meal for today. You know, got your broccoli and you got your chicken and sweet potato. So guys, like I always say, it's a healthy lifestyle. Consistency is the key of success. You know, once you start it, keep putting it in hard work and one day, you get it like me that's why you see all year round i stay nice and lean because you know i'm very disciplined and i like fitness about it because since i started doing fitness which i would tell you guys how long i've been doing fitness right now i've actually maintained it and it's kept me more disciplined in my life and it keep pushing me that's why i respect everyone who actually make the time to go out there and put in the work because you don't want to look up and um, look after the body outer you gotta look at what you consume to as well internally so it's quite important so yeah if you guys like the video, do not forget to push the subscribe button, you know, and obviously show some love and put some comment and share it with your friends. And then from there, I'm gonna be motivated to actually do more. So, have some now, I'm out. Time to go get some more extra gains. Whoa, peace.